The following video is a Dennis the Menace production. Dennis the Menace, this name will never stick. On this episode of Is That Gonna Be On The Exam, we look at cloud computing. The obvious question that is, comes up when discussing cloud computing is, what is cloud computing? Since it is such a new phenomenon in the uh, computer world. Cloud computing allows applications to be web-based and no longer being stored on a local computer or network. This allows information to constantly be saved on the internet server and not the user's computer. One fairly common example of cloud computing in today's world is through Google Apps. Um, through uh, Google Apps is able to use cloud computing through their Gmail accounts that a user is able to create and then they're able to access such things as word processing um, systems that allow them to edit those and save those on the internet server that Google operates and maintains. Since cloud computing takes place on the internet, the way to access and save information is a little bit different than it usually is to just save to your computer or your hard drive. Um, to access cloud computing, the computer first must be turned on and the computer must have its own operating uh, software. It can't just, it needs to have a software to use the uh, cloud computing. Uh, then the internet must be accessed and you must uh, log into your cloud system by authenticating your own account. So everyone has an individual cloud account and they have to authenticate themselves to access their account. And then they're able to um, open up their documents and edit them and sh share them with others. There are several advantages related to cloud computing. The first of all is the fact that software and data are available from any location that has internet access. This means that you no longer have to be just at a specific computer to download information. You can be anywhere there's internet access and you can download any of your documents. Another one is there's no need to manage, maintain, and upgrade a network of computers. Uh, software updates that take place on the cloud are done automatically. You no longer need to do it for each individual computer that you operate or a network as a whole. It's done automatically for you. A third advantage is reliability and integrity. Um, since it's on the internet, it is. Since cloud computing is more reliable, there's not as much need to back up information in secondary locations such as flash drives and everything. So that makes it a little bit easier for everyone to keep track of everything they have. Uh, another one is multiple users are able to work simultaneously on the same document. An example of this would be uh, Google Documents that uh, many high school students that I know at least have been able to uh, manipulate and use for many different projects and it makes it a little bit easier so you can uh, have real-time uh, communication with people that aren't necessarily there on one document that you're working together with. The final one is more mobility of use which somewhat relates to the idea of uh, having access to all of your documents anywhere there's internet location. You could be able to take your uh, cell phone even now and go online and uh, work on documents instead of just working from a desktop or a laptop as long as you have internet connection you could just be on uh, anywhere with your phone editing and documenting new things. Although there are many advantages to cloud computing, there are also several disadvantages. The first of which um, is another idea of reliability. Although reliability was an advantage, it's also a disadvantage in this sense because um, it, you need a fast and reliable internet connection. If you do not have that internet connection, you're not able to access any of your documents. That means that even if you're trying to work on it and you need to be able to edit it and you're at your computer, it's not saved on there, it's on the internet. So if you don't have the internet, you can't edit anything. Another disadvantage is security. You're, re uh, you're relying on the cloud computing server to secure all of your data. If it's hacked into, then all of your data could be, or your files could be corrupted or even stolen or edited without you knowing, which is bad. Um, another thing is integrity. Um, you have to make sure that they have enough backup to ensure that you don't have to. So even though you may not have to back it up yourself, you're relying on them to back up your things in case something happens and some of your files are corrupted. Uh, cultural diversity is another disadvantage because um, the way it's stored legally, um, it 
it's through different servers in the world, and um, that's bad because uh, different governments could inspect your things, and if they don't like it, they could edit it without you knowing since it's going through their servers. And then there's a complete loss of control from you because you're relying on a company itself to keep uh, financially afloat. If they if the company goes under that you're using for your cloud computing, then all of your files have a possibility of not being able to be recovered or saved. And these are the sources I used. Uh, once again, thanks for watching a Dennis the Menace production. Dennis the Menace Productions, I can't believe that name stuck.